We all know Minnesota winters can get downright bone chilling. Many Minnesotans might not have the means to heat their homes. Quinn Gorham explains why this state is reminding folks they have options as temperatures start to drop. There are several aid programs to help Minnesotans get through long and cold winters. Monday, as temperatures sat below 30 degrees in the Twin Cities metro, Governor Tim Walz and other state leaders reminded Minnesotans of those programs. Between the weatherization assistance and energy assistance programs, the state provides aid from both physical and monetary heating barriers. The weatherization assistance program helps with home energy upgrades to help homes maintain more energy and cost efficient heating practices. The energy assistance program directly helps homeowners pay for bills and furnace replacements. Grace Arnold, commissioner of the State Department of Commerce, says the program is a game changer for people who are straining to pay for the cost of energy. Not every Minnesotan has that ability. And we think that uh, you know, every Minnesotan deserves to be safe and warm in their home. Sometimes they're choosing between groceries and staying warm. That's not a choice we want anyone to make. Arnold says around 59,000 households use the EAP right now. About half of those households have a child under the age of 16, and about half have people on disability. Arnold says they've done what they can to make sure the application process is as accessible as possible. That's included having an online application portal and having new languages on there for people to use. Despite a lot of requests already this winter, the agency says they're confident they can stay on top of things this winter. Reporting in St. Paul, I'm Quinn Gorham. Minnesota law, res, uh, Minnesota law rather states that residents, including renters, cannot be disconnected from utilities as long as they're on some form of payment plan from October 1st to April 30th.